In this video, we'll be discussing about the CAM pathway, that's crassulation acid metabolism pathway. It is a photosynthetic adaptation in succulent plants. The succulent plants have thickened leaves, stems modified, and are found in arid environments, which includes order and families like Cactacea, Agavidae, Crassulae, with common examples as aloe, cactus, and pineapple. This CAM pathway is basically an adaptation for increased efficiency in use of water where we see stomata close during the daytime to conserve the water. And this stomatal closure during the day has led to the modification in carbon fixation and its usage which gives us crassulation acid metabolism. Before getting to the mechanism of this pathway, first of all let's see what's the normal pathway in C4 plants. While we see stomata open during the day, then CO2 is fixed by PEP carboxylase in mesophyll cells and then RUBP carboxylase drives Calvin cycle in bundle sheet cells. On the other hand, in succulent plants, the stomata are closed during the daytime to conserve the water. So due to this, there is carbon fixation during the night time when stomata opens and we know during the night time the carbon dioxide is less in concentration. So PEP carboxylase binds CO2 in low concentration also. And finally, during the daytime, the RUBP acts on CO2 to drive the Kelvin cycle. So we can see the final steps are same in both pathways. But in succulent plant, the whole process occurs in one cell, that's in mesophyll cell. Whereas in C4 plants, the process occurs in two different cells. Some part in mesophyll cell and some part in bundle sheet cells. Now let's get to the CAM pathway in detail. Here in the diagram we have the epidermis which has stomata surrounded by guard cells. It's during the night time the stomata opens in succulent plants as shown in the animation. And when the stomata is opened during the night time the CO2 is trapped in and eventually gets into the mesophyll cell where it combines with water in presence of carbonic anhydrase enzyme and gets converted into bicarbonate that's HCO3 and proton. And within the mesophyll cell, we have the chloroplast that converts starch into triose phosphate. And from that, we get the PEP that's phosphoenol pyruvate. Then in the next step, the PEP that's phosphoenol pyruvate reacts with bicarbonate HCO3 in presence of PEPC enzyme. And from that reaction, we get the oxaloacetate. In the next step, this oxaloacetate is then acted upon by malate dehydrogenase enzyme and NADH. And this NADH being the reducing agent reduces oxaloacetate to malate and NAD+. Now, this malate is the main source of carbon dioxide within the mesophyll cell. And it's further stored into the vacuole in succulent plants during night time. And here we can see how malate gets into the vacuole and we also see there is proton getting into the vacuole via ATP driven proton pump. And this concludes the night reactions. Now when we have the daytime, the malate is exported out of the vacuole and this malate is acted upon by malic enzyme. And furthermore we have the NAD+, that's oxidizing agent. It oxidizes the malate to pyruvate and carbon dioxide, as shown in the diagram. After that this pyruvate gets into the chloroplast and gets converted into starch. And this CO2 also gets into the chloroplast where it drives the C3 or Calvin cycle. So we see here that CO2 is fixed during the night time and here CO2 is used during the daytime. So this is the difference between C4 plants and succulent plants. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up to support me, work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.